Welcome to my video update on the development progress for the Steam VR simulation of the 1851 Great Exhibition. We recently visited the archives of the 1851 Commission, and they kindly supplied us with detailed floor plans of both the ground floor and gallery. From these we have been able to add some fixtures and fittings with a high degree of certainty. First is the ticket booths and turnstiles seen here either side of the main entrance. In the middle are desks where season tickets are inspected. This section of the detailed floor plan shows the main entrance arrangements. Similar arrangements also exist at the western entrance and at the eastern entrance. These images from the Illustrated London News give a limited view of the main entrance from either side of the ticket booths. In this image to the left of the main entrance the sign, Electric Telegraph Office, can be seen. For the simulation, we have added the only piece of modern technology in our simulation, an HD video screen, below which is a console where you can press a button to choose one of three videos, a mini documentary about the exhibition, another mini documentary about this project to recreate the exhibition as a VR experience, and the very long list of credits of the individuals and institutions who have helped to make this simulation possible. Passing through the entrance for season ticket holders, as we move towards the Crystal Fountain, we look up to the corners of the gallery where the nave and transept cross. Here are seats at all four corners, which can be clearly seen in this watercolour by William Simpson. Whilst we are in the transept, we venture to the refreshment area at the north end, where we have corrected the layout of the conveniences, first introduced in video 21. The floor plan clearly labels them as waiting rooms, so we have changed the signage to reflect this nomenclature. The doors have been moved to the east-west walls, rather than the south walls, and the number of cubicles has been changed to match the floor plan. Entering the gentleman's waiting room, we see the newly added urinals. We have no contemporary images of the urinals at the exhibition, but we do now know how many there were, and their approximate size and location. The urinal model we have created reflects a style common in the second half of the 1800s. Leaving the gentleman's waiting room and returning to the nave, we head east along the nave towards the United States section. Above the eastern entrance, either side of the large organ by Gray and Davison, are more seats, as seen in this watercolour. These seats are now included in the simulation. Watch out for my next video, which will continue to add to the contents of the exhibition.